Oscar, please stand. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Good morning. Honor today's Saint Monica, 4th century saint, mother of Saint Augustine. We'll hear a bit more about her at the homily. We pause in silence. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son, Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will praise your name forever. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I will praise your name forever, Lord. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. I will praise you.
Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the master has put in charge of his household? distribute to them their food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant who his master on his arrival finds doing so. And then I say to you, who put him in charge of all of his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is long delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink of drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. So good morning. So we have two of my favorite saints. Today, St. Monica and tomorrow, St. Augustine. So we've got mom today and her son tomorrow. Now Monica, this is back fourth century, Monica was born in 333 AD. So Monica, a wonderful Catholic Christian woman, marries Patricius, who is an angry pagan, and he is very, very hot-tempered during the course of their marriage. And they have a son, Augustine. And Augustine says, for the first part of his life, I'm gonna be just like dad which was a great heartache for Monica. So at the age of 16 or so, he moves in with his girlfriend and has a child. And Monica keeps praying and praying and praying and praying, oh, I hope my son changes, and the miracle happens. Augustine decides to become a Catholic Christian. He gives up his former lifestyle, becomes a priest, becomes a bishop, and becomes one of the top two theologians in the history of the Catholic Church. That's what I call going a long way, baby. That's a long ways. So Monica, to me, is the idea of evangelization. Never gave up on her son's conversion, never gave up on him, never despaired of his bad behavior, but kept praying for him, modeling virtue to him, and look how her son turned out to be one of the greatest saints in the history of the church. So we're invited to be like Monica to our families and friends. Celebrating the evangelization today of St. Monica, we pray for our church, its leaders, and all God's people. We pray to the Lord. We pray for peace and harmony among peoples and nations. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for healing of all those who are sick, for a cure for the pandemic, and for all those who are sick in any way. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray. Please voice of our petitions. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, thank you for your gifts and blessings. Help us to follow your service and love this day through Christ our Lord.
and I pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. We bring you these sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate the life of St. Monica, humbly entrusting that she may be stolen in us both pardon and salvation through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Should we write and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in this marvelous confession of your saints, you make of your church the fruits and goodness and strength forevermore, and offer us a sure sign of, this, of the communion of your love. And in the saving mystery that you have fulfilled for us may give us an example and lead us to courage through the fervent prayers that sustain us in all that we do. And so with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Our mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs who eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Our and glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, build him and takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Today's Mass for Amelia Flores Fernandez, deceased. A 
O God, who mercifully celebrated the life of St. Monica for the conversion of her son Augustine, grant us through her prayers and intercession to bring your gospel message to one another through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And mighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life.